السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأصلي وأسلم على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Beloved brothers and sisters in Islam we spoke about the importance of tawbah and the importance of making istighfar we mentioned how certain sins are a cause for dua to be rejected that is why it is said do not be surprised when your dua is not accepted because you have blocked its way you have put obstacles in its way in other words you have put sins and these sins prevent your dua from being accepted when we look at sin we find that it results in all things that are bad that is why Ali ibn Abi Talib radiyallahu anhu he says ma nazala bala'un illa bi dhanb wa la rufi'a illa bi tawbah there is no trial or affliction that descends except because of sin and it is not raised except by tawbah so when we realize that sin is a reason for all these bounties to be removed it is important for us to turn to Allah Jalla wa Ala and to ask Allah Jalla wa Ala to forgive us. That is why Allah Jalla wa Ala said, وَمَا أَصَابَكُمْ مِن مُصِيبَةٍ فَبِمَا كَسَبَتْ أَيْدِيكُمْ وَيَعْفُوا عَنْ كَثِيرٍ Whatever reaches you from any harm and from any evil that reaches you, it is because of what you have earned. Then Allah Jalla wa Ala said, وَيَعْفُوا عَنْ كَثِيرٍ And verily Allah Jalla wa Ala forgives a lot. When we look at sin, it is a reason for a servant to be disgraced. Allah Jalla wa Ala says, وَمَن يُهِنِ اللَّهُ فَمَا لَهُ مِن مُكْرِمْ The one who is disgraced by Allah Jalla wa Ala, he will not find or there will be nobody who can honor him. That is why when Allah Jalla wa Ala spoke about those who fear him, those who obey him, Allah Jalla wa Ala said, إِنَّ أَكْرَمَكُمْ إِنْدَ اللَّهِ أَتْقَاكُمْ Verily, the most noble from amongst you are those who have taqwa, those who fear Allah Jalla wa Ala, those who do good. When one forgets Allah Jalla wa Ala, Allah Jalla wa Ala in turn forgets him. That is why Allah Jalla wa Ala said, وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ نَسُوا اللَّهَ فَأَنْسَاهُمْ أَنْفُسَهُمْ Don't be like those who forgot Allah Jalla wa Ala. So they in turn were forgotten by Allah Jalla wa Ala. It is important for us to obey Allah Jalla wa Ala. Wherever we make mistakes, we should ask Allah Jalla wa Ala to forgive us. For verily, as we mentioned, sin is not only a cause for dua to be rejected, but it is a reason for all bounties and ni'am to be removed. That is why it is said, that Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma said when speaking about the good effects of doing good or obeying Allah Jalla wa Ala and he mentioned the ill effects of committing sin he said inna lil hasanati daya'an fil wajh verily for the one who does good deeds these good deeds bring about a shine on his face wa nooran fil qalb and nur in his heart and you find that he has an increase in wealth and you find that he has strength in his body and you find that the creation loves him they have love for him in their hearts as for the one who does evil as for the one who does evil, you find that his face is black, his face is dark, there is no nur on his face. And he has a dark heart. His heart is dark because of all the evil that he commits. And his body is weak. And you find that his wealth is decreased. And you find that the creation, the people who are around him, they have hatred towards him in their hearts. That is why it is important for us to make tawbah. When Allah Jalla wa Ala spoke about success in the Quran, he mentioned tawbah. 
he said وَتُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا أَيُّهَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ Allah Jalla wa ala telling the mu'mineen, telling the believers, he said, turn to Allah Jalla wa ala, repent to him, make istighfar, la'allakum tuflihun, so that you may be successful. When we look at Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would make istighfar. He would repent to Allah Jalla wa ala, whether he was in salah, whether he was at hajj, or even when he was sitting with the companions. That is why it is recorded that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in a hadith which is in Sahih Muslim, Ya ayyuhal nas, O people, tubu ila Allah, turn to Allah jalla wa ala, repent to Allah jalla wa ala, fa inni atubu fi al-yawmi ilayhi mi'ata marrah. Verily I repent to Allah jalla wa ala in one day, one hundred times. In some ahadith it is mentioned that in one sitting Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would seek forgiveness from Allah jalla wa ala and the sahaba radiallahu anhum would say we would count him, we would count that he would seek forgiveness more than one hundred times. So it is important for us to ask Allah jalla wa ala to forgive us. It is important for us to turn to Allah jalla wa ala and we should remember istighfar or tawbah is not only for a sin that one commits, but it is also for an act of worship wherein one has shortcomings. That is why Shaykh al-Islam rahimahullah, he mentions that some people, they think that tawbah or istighfar is only for a sin that he commits. They do not realize that when it comes to acts of worship, we as human beings, we have shortcomings. How, do, how many times do we read salah and we lose concentration? Or when we are giving out zakah, we have doubt that maybe we have not given enough. Or when we are fasting, sometimes we happen to swear. Or we say something that is bad. All these things, one should make istighfar. He should ask Allah Jalla wa ala to forgive him. We ask Allah Jalla wa ala to forgive us, to forgive our parents, to forgive our mashayikh, to forgive all the muslimin, those who are alive and those who have passed away. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik, ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk, Allahumma salli wa sallim ala abdika wa rasulika nabiyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.